Dave. Well, all throughout these accusations coming out against the governor, we've been trying to talk with Lieutenant Governor Kathy Hochul. It has been 50 days now since she answered questions from us on camera. She once again gave a virtual speech today that did not include any chance for anyone to ask questions. Two on your side's Danielle Church has more as we hold people in power accountable. It would be at least unseemly and probably politically suicidal for her to say anything. That's why political analyst Bruce Fisher says Lieutenant Governor Kathy Hochul has been keeping herself at bay from reporters. She hasn't taken any questions and has done most press conferences over Zoom, some of which have been filmed in advance. Fisher compares it to when former President Bill Clinton was getting impeached. Uh, you didn't hear Vice President Al Gore saying a word while the impeachment of William Justin Clinton was underway 20 years ago. He had no role other than to wait for the outcome of the process of some other body. That's the circumstance that uh, Lieutenant Governor Kathy Hochul that. Hochul has only put out two statements, this one after the first allegation made against Cuomo, and this one after the state attorney general announced there would be an independent investigation. Other than that, Fisher says you won't hear from her. That's because investigations are being done by the state assembly and attorney general. Though there's no talk of impeachment yet, Hochul will be next in line to lead the state. She would either be perceived as wanting the process to happen right now so she can get in there, and it's not her decision. She's not a decider. She's not an actor in this. She's waiting in the wings for events to unfold. Not everyone agrees staying silent is right, though. No. New York GOP Chairman Nick Langworthy has previously no. said Hochul must say whether she ever saw the governor harass employees. That may be some wishful thinking, though, when those investigations could go on for a few months. The folks who are waiting for Lieutenant Governor to speak up are going to have a long wait. Danielle Church, Channel 2 News.